the first indentured Indian workers arrived in what was then Natal in 1860. But it was also only in 1910 that the Durban municipality granted leave to its employees to attend the festival. So this year marked the 105th anniversary of official Diwali celebrations. So let's experience some of the highlights. Hello and a warm welcome to you from Durban. It's a particular pleasure to have you join me today in my home city to celebrate the Festival of Lights. Now today is very special because it's exactly 155 years ago since the very first indentured labourers arrived in Natal. And it's 105 years ago that the very first float procession took place in Durban. So join me today as we make history once again. While Diwali has a definite Hindu identity, the message of the festival transcends cultural boundaries. Processions are an age-old tradition celebrated by cultures all over the world. And it was in 1910 that the very first street procession took place in the city of Durban, with over 4,000 people accompanying the chariots. So today's event celebrates a very special tradition indeed. Well, the float procession has begun, and this officially depicts the beginning of the 2015 Durban Diwali Festival. Crossing not only the cultural divide, but also the generation gap, the festival unites participants of all ages. And it's fascinating to see how vehicles can be transformed into rolling fantasies, showing no shortage of creativity or effort. Diwali sends out the message of goodwill to every other community in South Africa. And we enjoy that because it creates a wonderful, spiritual, lively atmosphere where everybody can come together and celebrate this one single event as a united South Africa. Held under the auspices of the South African Hindu Mahasabha, the annual Durban Diwali transformed the city's former drive-in into one of the closest things to a truly Indian mela that can be experienced in South Africa. Stalls offered something for everyone, and even the overcast weather couldn't drop the event of its colour or festive spirit. As dusk fell, the lights shone even brighter. I hope you've noticed my change in attire from Western to Eastern, because the opening ceremony for today's Durban Diwali festival is a celebration of the past, present and future of Indian South Africa. The president of the SA Mahasabha delivered the opening address. We present this festival to all of you because it is a festival which brings together not only the celebrants of the Diwali itself, Hindus, but the entire nation. Mr. Trikamji, I understand that for you the Durban Diwali Festival has a broader meaning. Can you tell us more about this? Living in South Africa post-1994, with a call for this nation being a rainbow nation, we felt that we wanted to showcase the message of Diwali to all South Africans because it's, it's a message which is universal. So we, we aimed at making Diwali a national celebration. And that has just, just been magically successful for us over the years. Today, it's a festival where everyone participates. May we have a festive message for the Mela viewers at home? All the viewers of Mela, you know, those that celebrate and those that don't celebrate. Diwali is a very, very special occasion. Enjoy it. But when we enjoy the food, the pleasantries, the sweet meats, let us not forget that there are more people in South Africa that don't have than those that have. So for us, this is the time to share and share with those that don't have. GV, welcome to Melo. Can you tell me what brings you to the Durban Diwali Festival every year? I enjoy coming to the festival because there's lovely sights and sounds, music and the throngs of people is amazing. The fireworks were literally a highlight of the evening, symbolising the triumph of light over darkness. This is also a time to look ahead with optimism. May 2016 bring us good tidings, good news and we hope that we'll have a great recovery in the country's economy. We hope that rains will come down, our dams will fill up 
and we hope that all the social ills that we face uh, will be a thing of the past. With the official opening ceremony over, the crowds are now gathering for the Lotus FM Fusion Party. The Lotus FM DJs had the party pumping, with some mums and dads leaving the kids amazed at their sudden outburst of energy. Oh, I really love it. There's a huge crowd and the fireworks display was awesome this year. It's quite an exciting festival. It actually makes a difference to Durban alone and South Africa as a whole. You can see so much of diversity. It's brilliant. It's awesome. I just hope to everybody watching that may the radiance and the beautiful row of lights remove any obstacles in your way and may you prosper and spread that love and the true message of the public. It's been a fun day and a fantastic experience. So from me, Tevin, we hope you enjoy the rest of the holidays because the festive season has just begun.